These men are involved in a process that was painstakingly researched before a single piece of equipment was installed. Every precautionary procedure, every modern device is employed to assure absolute cleanliness. Every step in the process is methodically checked and monitored, for precise control is essential. Here, science and technology are combined in the most modern facility of its kind to produce the most modern records-keeping medium. IBM Data Processing Magnetic Tape. These are the sights and sounds of 20th century records keeping. Familiar sights and sounds to the modern data processing manager. Almost routine. Routine? Hardly. When you consider that modern data processing systems can process information at speeds measured in billionths of a second. And working as an integral part of the data processing system, Magnetic tape must match, with unfailing accuracy, the computer's spectacular speeds. This is the language of magnetic tape, the bit pattern. Precisely positioned spots, or bits, recorded on the iron oxide surface of a reel of tape. Bits can form numbers, letters, special symbols each pattern recognizable by the computer as data. In the time it takes you to blink an eye, three-tenths of a second, half a million bits of information can be written on the tape's surface and read back to verify the information. Each bit a signal, each signal a unit of data, each unit of data a pattern of information, and the demand for accuracy becomes more and more critical. To meet the many new demands on tape performance, this new IBM facility at Boulder, Colorado, houses at a single location the research, engineering, and manufacturing operations for both IBM tape drives and IBM magnetic tape. Assuring defect-free magnetic tape begins with the materials, the properties of the oxide, the binder, the chemicals that make up the tape surface are tested. From here until the tape is packaged for shipment, the same critical adherence to specification is followed. The first step, the iron oxide binder solution that will form the tape surface is milled, a batch at a time, before it is pumped to the coating room. Rolls of polyester film are moved into the coating room through a specially constructed entrance designed to prevent clean room contamination. Before, during, and after coating, the web is wound under strictly controlled tension to prevent wrinkles or distortion that might mar the recording surface. Here, coating and film are combined in a permanent bond to form magnetic tape. In this specially constructed room, the equipment, the people, the air itself must be totally clean. Why this super sensitive concern for cleanliness? While the oxide coating is still wet, a particle of foreign matter so small that it would take a microscope to detect it could settle on or in the coating and become a permanent part of the tape surface, a defect that could appear on the tape drive as a signal dropout, a loss of information. As it leaves the coating operation, the iron oxide coating and polyester backing is now magnetic tape. The coated tape is moved to the curing room. 
Automatic controls pinpoint the exact location of every roll. During the extended curing period, the web is constantly rotated to prevent uneven stresses as the final hardening of the oxide coating takes place. The physical and chemical structure of the coating changes. Molecules are interconnected through a chemical process to form a durable recording surface. The curing is completed. The tape is ready to be slit and wound onto the familiar half-inch reels. Web tensions, machine tolerances, and speed fluctuations are held within an extremely tight range. Tolerances so rigid that if the half-inch width of the tape were scaled up to the length of a highway stretching from Los Angeles to San Francisco, the width variation over the entire distance would be less than two inches. It has taken seven days under the most rigid manufacturing control to produce this tape. Now it is tested under equally rigid criteria. A sample of each new tape lot undergoes 23 hypercritical tests. Width, thickness, strength, curvature, friction on brass, on chrome, on rubber. The tolerances cannot vary. Lots which pass this test barrier are then accepted, but only for further testing. Each reel of tape is examined on special testing equipment that duplicates the conditions of the drives the tape will be used on. An information pattern is recorded and read back in every bit position in every channel. Will a bit, once recorded, produce a recognizable signal? Does the signal strength vary from bit to bit? Are there any places on the tape that might produce a false signal? Are there any deviations in the tape edges that might improperly guide the tape across the read-write head? Microscopically small defects, flaws, or contaminants can prevent the recognition of tape signals. Signal dropout occurs when a flaw in the iron oxide coating separates the tape from the magnetic head on the tape drive. In other parts of the boulder complex, machine design and magnetic tape engineers are looking for ways to improve methods of information exchange. This specially developed IBM computer, capable of measuring the entire range of tape recording characteristics, helps provide IBM tape development engineers with the data to explore entirely new concepts in magnetic recording. The newest advances in tape, tape transport, Tape container design are developed and tested here, all with the single purpose of providing greater efficiency in the computer room. In special environmental chambers, tape is subjected to cold, heat, humidity. It endures constant reading and writing over the same spot for prolonged periods. Start, stop. Start, stop. How well will it perform? How long will it perform? How can it be improved? Pure research, applied research, manufacturing research, product research. Since the first magnetic tape was put to use for data processing in the early 1950s, each new industry standard, each new specification level has been established in the laboratories at IBM. The tape on these reels is a precision data storage instrument. The reels themselves are equally precise in design and construction. As a last protection step, each reel is placed in a container, numbered, then sealed in a plastic wrapper for shipment. And as they are shipped, this is the beginning, not the end for these reels of tape. In tape libraries that flank data processing rooms across the country, Tape reels contain information as diverse as the organizations that use them. Determine seat availability. Today, an airline can determine seat availability and confirm a reservation from any place in the world in three seconds. 
with data on thousands of reels of tape. The data processing manager can write, read back, give one reel to another, or merge data from several reels of tape into one without an error. The cattle breeder, using tape, hypothetically produce new animal strains generations before his calf is born. And for today's style-conscious shopper, data stored on magnetic tape can make the pattern, cut the dress, keep the inventory, record the sale, bill her, and credit her charge account. Computers today are being used to explore for oil deposits, classify cancer experiments, control a lunar landing, all in fractions of a second. Yet their primary use is still the day-to-day -day routine processing of business data. Routine? Yes. But only because new performance levels of IBM magnetic tape are matching with accuracy the computer's higher speeds. IBM developed, IBM manufactured, IBM tested tape brings new levels of machine and tape compatibility to data processing. Compatibility measured in processing time, in information accuracy, and ultimately in increased information flow.